Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel to our undisclosed basement location. Today we are talking about another diffuser from Villain Weapon Systems. This particular diffuser is the PEC-15 Enhanced Narrow Diffuser. Alright guys, let's get into it. This diffuser greatly increases the usability of the diffused illuminator on the PEC-15. As everyone knows, the PEC-15's illuminator, the full, full power PEC-15's illuminator, um, regardless of manufacturer date, can be spotty. It can have artifacts. It can be dim. And other times it can be bright. I have an older unit that has a great illuminator. I have a newer manufactured device. It has a poo-poo illuminator. And this device kind of sits right in between those two. And it has a pretty decent illuminator. I thought this would be the best to showcase the diffuser's capabilities. What you'll get in the package is some Loctite, some thread tight, thread locker. But the best part, aside from the diffuser itself, you get spares. So you get a spare O-ring and you get two spare pieces of glass. I love it when companies send spares out with their... Uh, with their products. Everybody knows that two is one and one is none. So it's fantastic when a, a company understands that. You know, that way if you break this device or you break the glass or something like that or you snap your, uh, your retention o-ring, you already have parts on hand to replace it. You don't have to go right to ordering it. So we'll jump right into this. Let's talk about how this thing looks. Let's go ahead and go through the, the illuminator settings, both low and high, with the illuminator's focus wide open. So on low power, it's pretty good, uh, however, there's a lot of artifacts and the illuminator, excuse me, the diffuser is going to magnify those. If we go right up to illuminator high, you'll see it's significantly brighter than the factory diffuser, uh, which makes it in and of itself more usable. The Focus is way better. You don't have nearly as much spill. You have a better hot spot with uh, some spill around it. It makes this diffuser leaps and bounds better than the factory. Now, if we go back to low power and we narrow... The, the illuminator to its tightest beam. Let's see how it looks now. So now as you can see, the diffuser is working a whole lot better this way. Um, the beam is tighter. Uh, the artifacts are more focused, so you get a much cleaner image. Uh, and the uh, manufacturer, VWS, Villain Weapon Systems, does recommend that and says you get the best performance when your illuminator beam is the tightest. Now if we go up to high power, you can see where this thing really shines. Especially indoors, uh, even low power indoors, it's fantastic. Uh, but outside, uh, for close-up work, it's great. Okay, good. Now what I like to do is I like to find a happy medium. 
So I'll find where it's going to work the best for me out to distance and I'll set my illuminator there and then test to see how the, um, the diffuser looks. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to show you where I keep my illuminator set to and then we're going to flip the cap down to give you guys an idea of how it's going to look for you. And in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. Because with the factory diffuser, you're going to have the same the same artifacts. So you might as well have a better, more well-rounded diffuser for your device. So here's the construction of the device itself. It consists of two or technically three onwards up of four pieces so what you have is you have your main body that goes around the uh, illuminator housing and then you have your diffuser cap on the end here you have your rubber bushing that acts as the retention then you also have a sacrificial window and the diffusive element. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, if you like this content, please let me know. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. It's going to help me out in the long run. Um, in the future, I do plan on doing giveaways once I reach a certain subscriber point. Um, I'd like to see a thousand subscribers and I'm going to start doing giveaways. I already have some stuff set aside for those giveaways. I think you guys are really going to like what I got for you. So, uh, yeah, just uh, make sure to subscribe, follow my videos. Uh, if you like this content or don't like this content, be sure to let me know. If there's certain things you want to see, let me know. I'm willing to uh, pour in my own funds for your benefit. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, and uh, see you on the next one.